so you can see there, there's lots of options so I want to go with the you can even start from template model with the data sheet and so just click on the data sheet where you can export from so there you go I've got a lot of data I've done a lot and I use the today's tutorial There is the data. So this is a map screen. You can see you are now on the canvas and the separate sheet together. You can see my workplace. If you go my workplace with the object come. So now I'm gonna work first of all on the separate sheet only. So here's the data. You can see this is 2012 data I'm gonna convert into first paragraph make a table so when you make a table it's easy for you to sort the data and present your numbers into a graph or a chart so first of all I'm going to draw the pivot which is just basic anyone can do just into here your new sheet and if you want to draw somewhere else you can click start pivot so today the number of crashes happen all over Australia. So let me show you the sum. So we don't need sum, we need count. So just go and change it all down. In 2012 is 1200 in our town crashes. Crash. So now I want to this to the state boys. State. But I want to stay on the columns so like present basically individual. Space column you can do even row. Column. Now I need the gender and the row user. All your data is ready to use. Before you start, I want you to put put this especially this into a new cell. You can into a blank. So here you go. You can apply one basic number of. So you can present the dot. Why I'm doing that? Because I need something to present on the chart. So just for make it highlight so you know where you're working. And here you have to apply the basic formula of sum. So you can present the sum of uh, all this cell up to Western Australia, not the ground rule. That's all. Now, ready to use. Your sheet is not First of all, now we have to go up to the canvas to draw that. So go to your workplace. Your work. Go to the component. You can put any component you want. Lots of options. So in this tutorial, I'm going to go to the bar chart. Just scroll down, chart on column chart. Just draw, just pick the column and drag it to your canvas. You can see now your canvas is You can write anything, so I'm going to write. This is compulsory to to 
present, uh, you can say it's, it's a reference that you got the data from the string bar of the statistics. You can write anything you want. So I'm just going to write here. Time to plug the star. So here you go, you have to add this series, which is what series you're going to present on here. So you're not going to present anything, so just an empty one because you need other to present it here. So here I'm going to present this total number of accidents up to Victoria, up to Western Australia from ICD. Same way I'm going to put the where we're going to put on the y-axis so we are putting states on y you can see that states are presenting here and on y-axis you can see the whatever the table it comes here now it's time to that's enough for the bar chart now you're gonna you have to put something called selector calling that pick a Menu, so you can put according to the gender and the users of the who was involved in the crash. So now basically you are on according according menu and what destination you want to put. So destination is same. This is the destination. Basically this is the destination. Whatever the data is belong from this, I'm going to present here. So add series, first series, what you can present here. Let's see what is the first. First is females. Females always come first. And then what label you want. You want users. The users are here. Same way, what source of data you use. So you want a data from Australian Capital Directory to Western Australia, which is here. So be careful you're not presenting the total, just the. So these are the total, you're not going to present the total. Your total is come up here automatically. That's all. That's all for the females, same way you do with the males. is your second object to present and what label you want same label what you use in the female and the source data so source are same from AC2 to Western Australia all the this now you're gonna put by region you have to come again here and make another pivot to present on the map. So once again, we have to go back to this. And what we want, we want another pivot. Just say yes. And now all you need crash IDs here. Again, count. States come here, and that's all. Come back to your workplace. Here you can see your total number of accidents or the crash are coming state wise, and the total same 12. <sighs> what we want, we want a map, string map, so we can present by region. So go here on the map, you can find a lot of maps here. Just drag down the string map here on your canvas paper. Now you can see your map is here. What title you want? You want
crush origin block. You can put any reference on ABS the data is on the statistics. Here again, display data. All you need here display data. So what data you want to present here? Just this. One important thing, key region you always like what's the key region. So this, this SAP system have their own settings according to their their sequence ascending or descending. But here you can see in Excel, it's start from A towards W. So it's different. You can just see what the region keys are. So just to verify if it is different. So here you go. There is a button. Check the region. What the regions are. Yeah, everything is alright here. Queensland, Queensland. But that I'm not gonna present. So in your uh, here your you can see on your, your RAWs Australian Capital Territory is equals to ACT. So key is in ACT. Remember always and here N S W N T Why I did that? Because this is gonna match the cells. That's how it's presented the data. Go to colors to present something. The color on your chart, on your regions. High low values are good, which is okay. And too much red here, so you can change it. So you can just see what's the maximum number is. I think 360. Like the minimum is 50 and the uh, mean value, the middle value is 150 and maximum is whatever the maximum number and go to everything alright here yeah. Yep, all good. Text on the bottom, so you can see there's nothing coming on the bottom. Put on the left, so the text, the text will come on the left. Because I don't have enough space on my bottom. I mean, on my canvas bottom. So that's why the data can't get. You can put on right, you can put on left, top left, you can put on just left. Here you can change the size. I keep it medium footing. Yeah, so you can see easily. Crash for Australia 2012. Past time for dates. And now you have to go for behavior. You want data on the mouse click? Nah. Go to the mouse. When you put the mouse, the data will go all down. Reflect automatically. Everything done now, just save, put any name you want. So I'm going to put test. Test. So this is test. All you need to know, present your data. Go to preview. Now it's generating the flash file. There your data is ready to use. So you can see. There's no driver in ACT, become a victim, not even motorcyclist, others and passenger pedestrian. Only two pedestrian you can see. If you're gonna verify the data, you can go that you put the raw data against your shape. 
So just remember this is two. So you can see the series one, you can name it crash or tower of crash, whatever you want. Here you can see the data is reflecting as soon as you put the muscle on any state of Australia. Tasmania, very small ACT, New South Wales, Victoria. So that's done for that. And molding, you can see you can generate any.